Okay, now this video is going to be quite exciting. You know why? Check this out. This is One UI 8.5. I have installed this on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. This is of course the initial build. A friend of mine on X has shared this build and I was able to uh, install this on this Galaxy S25 Ultra. And in today's video, we are going to check out some new features and some new changes. This is not a deep dive into One UI 8.5. That will be a separate video which will come up very soon. In this video, I will just take you through how the UI looks. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Now on the right hand side, I've got the S25 Ultra running on One UI 8.5. On the left hand side, we've got uh, the Galaxy S24 Ultra running on One UI 7. Let's begin with the settings. Let's go to settings here. Let me tap on the settings button here. Uh, it looks more or less the same. And you can see the search bar has been moved to the bottom. Whereas here on One UI 7, we have got the search bar on top right corner. And this search bar also has the voice button right here. We can directly access the voice button. We can uh, dictate whatever we are searching for. Whereas here we have to tap on the search button and then we get this AI search right here. Now let's open a specific settings here. Let's say connections. Let's go back. The animation is almost the same. We have got this predictive back gesture activated on both One UI 7 as well as One UI 8. And here you can notice something. On the top left corner, we have got this arrow. When I swipe up, that arrow stays here and the search button also stays here. Now let me try another menu here. Maybe let's say display. Yep, we have got this. Uh, you can see on the top here, it just blurs out right here. Let me turn on the dark mode, sorry, the light mode here. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it actually blurs out right here on the top. You can see that button right here. Let's do that here as well. Yeah, now you can clearly see there is some blur effect right here on the top and this button pops up when we swipe up there. And when we swipe down, this arrow is still remains over there. Now that's how the settings look. Now let's check the digital well-being and parental control here. It looks the same. There is no change here on this version that I have. Yep, it looks uh, more or less the same. Let's go back. Let's tap on device care. Yeah, there is some change here in the device care. On the top, you can see the graphic has changed. Uh, this is how it looks on One UI 7 and this is the new one. And we've got the same text over here. And you can see the bars are bigger right here. When I tap on that, it'll take me to the battery. And uh, here, I think it is more or less the same. Now let's go back. This is how the setting options are. Now let's quickly look at the quick panel here. Now when I tap on the quick panel customization on the previous version, this is how it looks. On the new version, you can see we have got these uh, indicators here which will enable us to increase or decrease the size of the specific uh, item. As you can see, I am able to place this vertically, which is pretty cool. And let's say if I want to expand this, I can do that as well. And you can see we can also remove Bluetooth. If you don't want Bluetooth, we can just tap on this and remove Bluetooth. If you want to add more, you can tap on add control. Uh, I think there is some bug over here. Let's go back here. Okay, so it's, it's kind of buggy. You know, we can understand this is not the official build. Uh, let me tap on settings again and let's try to resize this one here. Yeah, we can resize these items here. As you can see, I can press and hold on it and place it over here. And we can also expand this uh, media panel here. As you can see, uh, standard size or we can increase it to this size or we can even make it bigger. Now, this is how your media panel looks. And uh, let's tap on this three dot button here. This is how the animation is. It pops up and I can remove the toggles from here and tap on done. Now let me tap on panel settings here. Let's see if something has changed here. We've got separated together, quick panel on left side option and reset quick panel and contact us. There is nothing changed here. And to add controls, we have to tap on plus button here, which is not currently working. So uh, this is how the brand new quick panel is, which is quite interesting. It's quite similar to Pixel UI or iOS. Now this is the previous version which we already know. Now let's press and hold on the home screen. Let's see if there is any change here. Let's tap on wallpaper and style, color palettes. It all looks the same. Now let's open some system applications. Let's open gallery. This is how the gallery looks like now. You can see at the bottom, we have got these menu options. Let me just increase the brightness here. Okay, now you can see at the bottom, this is the previous version and this is the current version. We have got that capsule design and we can switch between these items here. And this is the menu button over here. Let me tap on the menu button here. You see, it looks a little better now. It is a frosted glass effect that we have got in the background. And the go to studio button is here and go to studio button has been moved into an icon, which is good. 
Now let's go to settings and let's see, I have already enabled gallery labs. If there is anything new here, let's check this out. For one UI 8, we've got something called collections, optional categories, uh, collections, optional categories, activity, short types, my tags. Uh, this is something new, which is not available in the previous version. I will have to see how this works. I will keep you guys posted very soon. And if you notice the albums here, uh, it is a squircle here. This is more of a rectangle with that rounded corner. Uh, which actually looks slightly better because there is a lot of gap here uh, and after this particular thumbnail we have got the details about this particular album whereas here within this rectangle we have got the details of this album also you can see uh, the number of photos within this album is mentioned within that uh, rectangle within that frame which is good to see and you can see the story button here it looks slightly different we have got this cool effect in the background here and uh, the suggestions are right here on the top and then we have got the location here and we have got some more thumbnails over here for creating stories we can tap on edit collections right here so this is the story option that we have now let's open my files application let me open my files here as you can see there is some change here uh, in this background you can see some color effect there some gradient effect there uh, which looks like throughout the ui we have got that and the search button is right here at the bottom instead of uh, on the top right corner here. And we've got all those categories very nicely uh, mentioned right here on top. Uh, whereas on the previous version, we've got categories here at the center and recent files are on the top. Now you can also see download option here. Internal storage is at the center and uh, we've got the other options right here. Looks like the new one is pretty cool. I personally like the newer version here. If they can probably work on the spacing here, it is gonna look really nice. Let's open manage storage. Again, you can see here, we've got that uh, colorful gradient effect right here, which looks pretty cool. And uh, we'll be able to see duplicate files here and large files right here. And when you expand it, it actually looks beautiful. Let's turn off the dark mode here, sorry, the light mode here and turn on the dark mode. Yeah, this is how it looks. Actually, it looks pretty cool. It looks modern. Uh, let's hope that this will uh, look better in the future builds. Now let's go back here. Now let's go to phone application, phone dialer. Again, you can see that capsule here at the bottom. We no more have these three separate buttons here. We've got it within the uh, capsule. And let's go to the contacts here. It looks more or less the same. I don't see any difference here. Now let's quickly make a call here. Okay, this is the calling uh, page that you're gonna see. It's in squircle shape. Let me know what do you think about this, whether you like it or not. Now let's check out the camera application. Is there any change over here? It all looks the same. I don't see any major changes here. Let me go through this thoroughly and then get back to you guys. Now let me go to the settings and tap on software updates. As you can see, it will show One UI 8.5. I can tap on check for updates. If there is an update, it is going to let us know. So this page has changed. It looks much better now compared to the previous version. Let me know what you think about this. Now that was One UI 8.5 and I was so excited to see this and it actually looks pretty cool. It could be a substantial upgrade over the One UI 8. Uh, maybe One UI 8 was supposed to be One UI 8.5. Uh, not very sure. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section. It's still the initial build. We will have many more features coming up in the future. I will keep you guys updated with everything that's happening with One UI 8.5. So be sure to subscribe. This is the channel you need to be on to know everything about your Galaxy phones and other Android phones. So subscribe, hit the like button if you find this video informative. The more likes this video gets, it will reach more people. So go ahead, hit that like button. And do not forget to download our wallpaper application, Volvers. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers, bye-bye.